Plant roots are fascinating plant organs. They not only anchor the plant, but are also the world's most efficient mining companies. Roots live in darkness and direct the activities of the other organs, as well as interact with the surrounding environment. Charles Darwin posited in The Power of Movement of Plants that the root system acts as a plant's brain. Because of the difficulty of accessing root tissue in intact live plants, research of these hidden parts has always lagged behind research on the more visible parts of plants. But now a new technology, developed jointly by Carnegie and Stanford University, could revolutionize root research. Understanding roots is crucial to the study of plant physiology because they serve as the interface between a plant and the soil. Roots are solely responsible for taking up water, finding and exploiting essential mineral nutrients, responding to salinization and acidification, and integrating diverse signals such as light and gravity. The new technology called a root chip allowed the research team to study roots of eight individual seedlings at the same time and to alter their growth environment simultaneously or independently and with extraordinary precision. Optical sensors developed and inserted into the root tissue allow the researchers to examine how the roots respond to changes in nutrient supply levels in real time. This new tool provides a major advance for studying root biology at the cellular and subcellular level. The growth conditions can be freely varied over several days, allowing monitoring of actual growth and development of roots and root hairs, and using optical biosensors to study nutrient acquisition and carbon sequestration in real time. The root chip was capable of monitoring a root's response to changing levels of the sugar glucose in the surrounding environment. It also revealed the long-suspected fact that galactose, a sugar highly similar to glucose, is toxic to roots and inhibits their growth and function. The root chip is a generic tool and can be altered to test any aspect of root physiology that can be analyzed visually. It can easily be modified to study more than 30 seedlings at the same time and can be expanded for use with plants used to make biofuels, such as miscanthus and switchgrass. The findings were published in the large-scale biology section of the December issue of The Plant Cell. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.